Hello. This video will go over the steps of associating a Now robot with your Aldebaran community account. You will need an Aldebaran Robotics community account and a Now robot. First, if you don't already have an Aldebaran community account, go to community.aldebaran.com and click Sign In at the top right. Here you'll find a button to create a new account. Once you fill out the form, you will be automatically signed in to your new account. Next, turn your robot on and plug the supplied Ethernet cable from the back of your robot's head directly to your computer and wait about 30 or 40 seconds for the robot to create a self-assigned IP address. You could also plug the Ethernet cable from the back of the robot's head to an Ethernet port on your network if one is available. After waiting 30 or 40 seconds, press the robot's chest button once and type the announced IP address into the address bar of any browser. Hello, I'm Sean Connor. My internet address is 10, 70, 122, 72. You will be asked for a username and password. The default username and password are both lowercase n-a-o. If you forgot your robot's password, you'll need to perform a factory reset to be able to log back into your robot. If this is the first time you visited the robot's webpage, you'll be taken through a welcome guide that steps you through naming your robot, setting it up on your wireless network, and associating the robot with your community account. If you'd like to go through the wizard again, just click the question mark found at the top of your screen, then click Getting Started. We'll assume you've already gone through this wizard but that you need to associate a new community account with your robot. Once you log in, let's make sure the robot can connect wirelessly to your network and connect to the internet. From the robot's webpage, click the middle globe icon, which indicates whether or not the robot is able to communicate with the internet outside of your network. If the light under this icon is red or yellow, then the robot is not successfully able to talk to the Aldebaran store. If the light under this icon is green, and you see that the robot is fully connected to a network, you're all set. Now, we can provide the robot our new community account credentials in the Update section of the robot's webpage, just to the right of the globe icon. The light on this icon is red when there is no community account associated with the robot, yellow when the applications on the robot need to be updated, and green when all the applications on the robot are up to date. To change the account that's associated with a robot, just click the Edit Account button towards the right of the screen. Enter the new community account credentials, click Connect, let the web page reload, then let the robot update its applications. You'll hear this sound as the robot deletes old behaviors and installs new ones. You may need to click the Update All button if updating has paused. You can tell whether or not the update is complete if all the applications in your application list have a vertical green bar to the right of them. If the bar is yellow, that application still needs to be updated. Any apps you have added to your community profile will now be downloaded to your robot. If you run into any problems, visit support.aldebaran.com and our support team will help you out. That's all you need to know to associate a robot with your community account. Thanks for watching.